Jagaban, <laughs> welcome to my Bush interview. Thank you. No, 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 don't mention we are not together. Don't mention we are not together. Okay. I must confess that I am angry with you and I am totally disappointed in you. If you are disappointed that your candidate is not where I stand now. <laughs> See this one, though? Where are you standing? A town hall different from Bala Blue. Blue. Bulaba. Oh! Continue standing. You go soon stand alone. Ha! If not be saying in Nigeria, how you go take by presidential form? Talk more of winning the 2023 presidential election when you even know that so many people did not vote for you. I know many did not vote for me. Photo. Oh, what a corrupt country. So you know that so many people did not vote for you. Yes. Then how come I next select you as the president? Emiloko. Why are you saying Emiloko is becoming a Nigerian president now like family land that they now share? Why? Ahmed Tinobu says he led the political struggle that produced President Muhammad Buhari in 2015. Rufai my man, Oseni Rufai my man, the only TV presenter without fear, the only TV presenter with audacity capacity, and uh, we are together, don't mention. <laughs> <laughs> so what exactly is the meat of the matter between Jagaban and Buhari consigning the presidential position? The meat of the matter was that power was going to come, he was going to hand over power to Bola Metinubu. That was the agreement. Oh, oh my Jesu, this is a complete failed government. I said they have failed us 735 percent of the time and we have thousands of people that are still praising the administration of the apc government can you imagine but do you think anything good can come out of this apc do not ask me ha! don't fear now just a yes or a no from you so that i can know my fate no <laughs> sir no Jai! So we can get mine, commit us to ABC hand again, another eight years of suffering. Calm down! If I hear calm down again, we can, we go, we go involved in one-on-one. -on -one. Are you prepared? Eh, nah, I am prepared, nah. but now nah, because of my BP. I know you are going to go die. You are totally may not be around. You can slump. But I am totally disappointed in you. After blasting ABC government, you supported them. May God forgive. See you! Be deceiving yourself. See how APC government buy you as if you don't even know where you come from. I come from somewhere. I know where my mother's mother, my mother's mother, my mother's mother comes from. Eh, but it can't be like say you know if it trace your history. I know where my father's mother comes from. I can trace my history. I must behave like somebody who doesn't know. You can just you can see a proper, unrepentably Korean man and talk to me like that. Who the hell are you? <laughs> I'm not one of those people who don't know where they come from. I know where I come from. I know my background. I'm a typical unrepentable Ikori man. I'm a typical Ikori man. <laughs> no verse again. I don't forget say I did talk to government with sense. Government not the get sense most time. <laughs> okay, you say waiting. Government not the get sense most time. Ha! How they won't take get sense now now? Now people they teach them sense. Exactly. But we leave this fight for God. Let there be a repercussion. This he has said, and all this he had put out there, there definitely will be repercussions. Oh, but when will the evil people in government get this repercussion? I don't know. But when do you think it will visit the evil politicians? Let's see. The first step of those repercussions will start between the 6th and the 8th of this month, June. No, next month is June. Another part of me says it might be far reaching even more than that. Time will tell. But I can see that what Mike did is to teach us a lesson. That politicians don't care about the people. It's about themselves. Exactly. But anytime they come out, they come out as if they are coming out to fight for us. So when they make the deal, the people are not put in. And that's why when they say they are fighting for you, hell no, they're not fighting for us. Hey, hey, hey. But come, what is your final words and warning now? What the Yorubas have been saying, that the solution to a headache will never be cutting the head off. Just maybe, razor sharp knife has been used to cut off the head.
the political aspirations of the Southwest. Mm.